Okay, so you have just come and picked up your refill packet for your binder, and this is what it looks like. Um, it will have your child's name on the front, of course. The first thing that I need to have you do is take some things out of your binder already. Um, so there's some papers in the front here. So you can take those out, um, leave your green packet of materials, supplies. You're going to take out the virtual classroom rules and the kindergarten standards. These are going to be things that you can keep at home. Um, and then you're going to keep in the two writable plastic pouches. You're going to take out your September book a day challenge. You're going to take out your sight words and you're going to take out the letter packet. All of those are before your red tab. And I'm just setting those aside. Um, next, the things that you're going to take out are all the way in the back. Um, this is all of your completed work, and it's the work that is behind your yellow tab. Um, we do want to collect this, so I would like for you to set it aside, not with the materials that you get to keep at home, the other things. So now you have two piles of paper in front of you. Um, then we're going to go back to the beginning. And now you're going to take out your pages. And again, this is only a job for a grown-up. All of these things are not, we don't want the kids to do. So you're going to take everything out. And we want you to put your morning work paper, it's a packet, and your October book a day challenge right in front behind the green pouch. And then you're going to close it again. And then you're going to flip behind your red tab and I, of course, still have my K papers in. So the first thing that you'll see is your N paper. Um, we're going to leave that in. We will use that next week. So flip behind your N and M paper till your yellow paper is here. And you have all of these books. We're going to keep them together um, just because it will be easier for them to find. And we're going to put those in here. And sometimes the holes don't line up exactly, so just get them in there maybe one at a time if needed. And then you have the rest of this stack. The red stack goes in this red section. So then you close it, so when you're done, it should look like this. All of the letter books and then the red paper with all of the letter papers behind it. And then you're gonna clip to your clip to your clear tab. It's gonna stay your September writing mats. We're not adding anything to that because it has a lot of writing that we're gonna be using, even though it's not gonna be September anymore. Then you're gonna to flip to your blue tab. This number book will not be in yours. And this is extra practice. Um, if you haven't done it already, you can do it whenever you'd like. So now yours is empty if um, you hadn't already taken that out. If you're doing this before Friday, then their big number book will still be in there. And you're gonna take all of your papers. So if, they're, if it's before Friday, we're still working on our number book, so it needs to stay in there. Then you're gonna put all of your blue papers in. If you're doing this after Friday, the big number book can go um, with your completed materials that we'll collect. Then all of your blue, behind your blue pages is all of our math papers. Um, there are two dice that we will end up using, um, and, and those should be on cardstock in the front, and then the gumball paper with this is the next one, um, and it ends with comparing eggs, okay? And then we have our orange tab we're going to flip to. Again, if you're doing this before Friday, the five sentences paper will still be in there. You can leave it in there um, until it's completed, and then it'll come back with your completed work. This five sentences book... Um, well, we can leave that in there and we'll let you know what to do with that later. And we're going to put all these in front of it um, just because that book is big. And so the orange paper and all of our science and social studies things uh, for October are in here. And now there shouldn't be anything except for your green or whatever color your pets folder is back there. And all of your completed papers now all of these, I would like for you to put in this plastic bag. 
and you will be bringing those with you. So once they're in the plastic bag, you can put them in the front of your binder. It'll make it easier for us to just collect the plastic bag out. Um, and then all of these papers, the September, the sight words, um, everything that was in the front, you guys can keep these, okay? So when it's completed, here's what your binder will look like. You'll have your plastic bag with all your completed work in here, your green supplies, uh, green package, pencil pouts of supplies, morning work, October book a day challenge, plastic, two plastic sheets, red tab, all the papers that we're gonna do next week, they're already in order, the N and M papers, um, all of your little alphabet books, then the red, then all the alphabet pages. Clear tab is still September writing mats, nothing else was added. Blue tab, still your number book until we finish that, and behind that is your blue sheet with all of your new math materials, and then your orange sheet with your five senses page because we haven't done that one yet then your orange sheet with all of your new science and social studies are in front of the Great Minds book. And then there shouldn't be anything behind your yellow tab. Um, if we finish work, um, you can still, you can add it back in there or you can slide it into the plastic Ziploc bag for us to collect next time we see them at school. So if you have any questions, um, Please, please feel free to ask your teacher. Thanks.